Hello researchers, how are you? I hope you are fine and doing well. In this video, I am going to demonstrate step-by-step -step installation of two important programming languages. The first one is called Erlang and second one is called Elixir. Before we proceed on installation of both these important programming languages, that is Erlang and Elixir on CentOS version 7, let us first of all get ourselves aware regarding the part A, that is Erlang programming language. This video of mine will comprise of two parts. In the part A, I will be demonstrating how to install Erlang programming language and in the second part, I will be demonstrating that is a part B that is about the Elixir programming language. So let us start with the part A. Let us have some for demonstration regarding Erlang programming language. Erlang is a general purpose concurrent functional programming language. It is also called a garbage collected runtime system. The sequential subset of Erlang supports eager evaluation, single assignment, and dynamic typing. Erlang is known for its design that are well suited for system with the following characteristics. The first one is called distributed, second fault tolerant, third soft real time, fourth high available and non-stop applications and number five which is very important hot swapping where code can be changed without stopping a system. It was originally a proprietary language with, within Ericsson developed by Joe Armstrong, Robert Wedding and Mike Williams in 1986 but was released as open source in 1998. Erlang along with OTP, a collection of middleware and libraries in Erlang are now supported and maintained by the OTP product unit at Ericsson and has been widely referred to as Erlang Oblique OTP. If we talk of the paradigm of Erlang programming language, it is multi-paradigm, concrete and functional. Developer is Ericsson and it was about 30 years ago, it was first appeared in 1986 and the current stable release which was released about 44 days ago is 18.3 on March 16, 2016. It is dynamic and strong and license is under Apache License 2.0 and Erlang Public License 1.1. And the file name extensions which are supported in Erlang programming language is .erl and .hrl. Now if we talk of the website, the official website is erlang.org and you can see that Erlang 18.3 has been released and you can find other versions also that is 18.2.1, 18.2. .2 .1, 18.2. And you can find a small, uh, you can say, Erlang definition. Erlang is a programming language used to build massively scalable soft real-time systems with requirements on high availability. Some of its issues are in telecoms, banking, e-commerce, computer telephony, and instant messaging. Erlang's real-time system has built-in support for concurrency, distribution, and fault tolerance. And now what is OTP? OTP is a set of Erlang libraries and design principles providing middleware to develop these systems. It includes its own distribution database applications to interface towards other languages debugging and release handling tools now if you want to go more into this website you can co click on this downloads and uh, you can find all the you can say versions even the latest version and the old versions into it you can even click on the manual pages and HTML document file it is multi uh, you can say platform independent which means that it can be installed on uh, Unix it can be installed on Windows it can be installed on Debian it can be installed on Macintosh so even on Raspberry Pi you can even uh, support it so if you want to have detailed documentation you can click over here and you can find everything from even books even system principles user guide administration guide even books are also there you can find and if you click on this community you can find it's an evergreen community you can even contribute it because it's an open source language so let us go uh, to CentOS 7 uh, and let us start with the installation of Erlang so let me go to my virtual machine and let me log in as root so you can see that I have already given you the steps in order to install the Erlang. So this is a fresh system. So first of all, in order to start your any work, as I've already told into, into my all of the CentOS videos, like we do apt-get update on Ubuntu, it is very important to have the repository update on CentOS. So the first thing is to go for this command that is yum release, yum install, epel hyphen release. The first thing is to install the repository. So after the repository installation, the second point is to install some basic dependencies. So it will take some time. So it has started and it will now take not much time.
so after installation let us go with the installation of basic dependencies and then we install with Erlang so press Y and press enter press Y again for GPG file so now you can see that the repositories has been installed so now the second point is to go with the basic dependency so let us copy this file which includes the GCC compiler some glibc devil some open SSL Java as well as git and wget command so let us copy this and let us paste it so all the commands which I'm going in this video are available at the bottom of this video so that you can find no problem in installation with the Erlang and Elixir languages So ignore this error if it fails. Sometimes uh, there may be some slow mirror or maybe some fast mirror. So there is no worry in that. Everything will be installed. So let us wait for some other mirror. Yes, so mirror has got. So don't you worry about any error. If it gives any error, there is no need to worry. So you can see that everything has been uh, dependent. So let us press Y. It is about 100 MB of size. So it will take some about one minute depending on your internet connection and will download the packages and it will start installing then cleaning and verifying and then we proceed ahead. So as you can see that it is going very fine. So if you follow steps there is no problem in installing Erlan and Elixir and both are very beautiful languages to understand and go for it at this time because you can see that its application scope is very widened very very widened so till it installs let me pause the video for some time so now you can see that it has almost done with the download part and after the download part it will be starting with the installation. So Java is being downloaded. So the next step we have to go with the installation of Erlang so we have to add this repository because uh, you know that Erlang is not a part of EPL release. So in order to install Erlang it is very important for you to install this repository and then you install the Erlang. So let me copy this uh, command so that we can add the repository and then we will add the repository and then we type the yum command for Erlang. So that package has been downloaded so it requires a GPG key so let me press Y and press enter. So now it will start the installation part. So libgcc is being installed. It will not take much time. Everything going smooth. So CentOS can become slow at some time but don't you have to worry as the packages uh, go into deep shells and libraries so you have to bear with them. Otherwise it's a very good operating system to work on. Might be we can see this uh, fast installation on CentOS 8 but still we have to bear with this. So all the packages are verified so let us start with the third step that is the 
installation of the repository let us download the repository and then we install the repository yes so package has been installed so let me go with this command so that we can uh, install it into our existing repository file so let us copy this and let us install the file paste and press enter so now let us type the command that is to install Erlang yes so yum install Erlang so now you can see that uh, Erlang solutions uh, repository has been crawled yes so it is about a 50 MB of download size and 135 MB will be used in order to install this Erlang into center 7 so let us press Y and press enter so depending on your good speed internet connection it will take about one minute or less than one minute as you can see I'm having about a 4G connectivity at my home so the speed is good it's coming about 1 Mbps so I always recommend to have a very good broadband connection with good speed when you're using a Linux operating system we are almost done so after that we have to verify the Erlang with this command ERL so we can see that the packages have almost downloaded and at any time we can start with the installation so yes the installation has been started it has taken me about a one minute to download all the packages and it is fast so entire Erlang language is being configured in this system good so let us type this uh, command that is called ERL and let's press enter so now you can see that the error shell has come so let us uh, so first of all let us exit uh, with this Erlang shell with the by pressing control C twice so press control C and then control C so you can see that we are out of this so let us write one hello program into the Erlang so let us type this command vi hello dot erl as you can see that I have already explained you that like we have a programming language like C in which we do hello dot C so in Erlang if you want to make some program you have to write vi with the file name dot erl extension so let us press enter let us go to the insert mode and let us go with the typing of this all that is moduled hello dot export hello underscore word dot and everything let us copy this and let us paste it so let me close the file with WQ so come to a lal shell again so ERL and now let us run the commands C quotes hello dot so now you can see hello is okay so with hello colon hello underscore word dot so hello word is okay so now you can see with control C C again so the Erlang has been configured and you can start working on Erlang so now let us uh, go with the B part of this video in which I will be demonstrating about the Elixir programming language so before we go with the Elixir programming language let us uh, go with some of awareness regarding Elixir programming language Elixir is a functional concurrent general purpose programming language that runs on the Erlang virtual machine that is Beam Elixir builds on the top of Erlang to provide distributed fault-tolerant soft real-time non-stop applications but also extended support metaprogramming with macros and polymorphism via protocols. The first appearance of Elixir was in 2012 about four years ago and the latest uh, release you can see that it is uh, uh, released in April 2016 itself about 28 days ago it is 1.2.4 and the file name extensions like we have ERL and .HRL in Erlang it is having .EX and .EXS 
and uh, if you talk of the history joe uh, joe's wellam is the creator of elixir programming language a r&d project of plata formatic his goals were to enable higher extensibility and productivity in erlang vm while keeping compatibility with erlang tools and ecosystems so if we talk of the features of this language a language that compiles to bytecode for erlang virtual machine everything is an expression erlang functions can be called from elixir without runtime impact due to compilation to erlang bytecode and vice versa meta programming allowing different manipulation of ast polymorphism via mechanism called protocols like in clojure uh, protocols provide a dynamic dispatch mechanism however this is not to be confused with multi dispatch as elixir protocols dispatch on a single type support for documentation via python like doc strings in the markdown formatting language shared nothing concurrent programming via message passing emphasis on recursion and higher order functions instead of side effect based looping light weight concurrency utilizing erlang's mechanism lazy and async collections with streams pattern matching unicode and utf strings so if you talk of the website the main website is called lixer-lang.org and you can find everything over here from fault tolerance language features tooling features extensibility interactive development and even some examples are also there on this website so that you can start and uh, if you click on this install you can find the latest uh, uh, you can say information and you can find that it can be installed on cross platforms that is macintosh unix even fedora ubuntu free psd centos even windows so even you can click on docs you can find everything for our documentation regarding standard library tempting library etc so i recommend that before you install elixir you have to install erlang programming language into your machine so let us go back to our virtual machine and let us start with the installation of elixir so as you see that elixir is available in epl repositories but it is very outdated so to install latest version install erlang first so let us go with the cloning of the elixir repository so let me go with this command git clone https github.com slash elixir hyphen lang slash elixir dot git so that we can install the latest version of elixir into this machine in addition to erlang programming language so let us press enter now you can see that it is cloning into alexa so after that we have to go to the folder that is alexa it will take some time but it will not take much time so let's wait yes so now you can see that it has received some objects and it is cloning the alexa so it will not take much time about uh, less than a minute so if you are having a decent broadband connection again you can find no problem in downloading part and everything seems normal so i request all the uh, you can say young programmers who do lots and lots of high performance applications code for uh, telecoms for uh, robotics etc or any other computer based uh, development use erlang and elixir they are very highly scalable fault tolerant and stable languages because these days as we can see that the face of programming has been transformed by various companies by big data by c with objects etc so with different web languages also coming so programming is uh, facing a very crucial shift into the world of computer science so almost we are done good so resolving the deltas and now we are done so let us go to this folder that is cd elixir and let us run this command that is run the following command that is make clean test so compilation will be done and after that we have to add elixir to the bin path to the variable environment otherwise elixir will not work so let us copy this command so as such you can see that i am using everything which is uh, used for elixir and it will take some time for compilation about 2 to 3 minutes but i will not pause the video so that you can all uh, see that how the compilation is done and what sort of files are being compiled with this so you can see every file is having extension of ex and now elixir main compilation has been started with almost with every different library files
so the kernel compilation files are there under library some hash files some module files some path files protocol files stream files different different files so it is now embedded the unicode database so this can take a time so don't you worry if you're even uh, if you're having a low ram in your system system can somewhat freeze at this time but don't you worry it will be going on fit and fine so everything seems fine and normal so right now i'm compiling the elixir uh, programming language into my centos machine so this is the main thing that is iex this ix command I will be using in order to verify the elixir. So you can see that all 194 tests are being passed, which means that we are on the verge of completion of elixir programming language configuration on our system. So what I recommend that if you are uh, going to work on Elixir or Erlang programming language rather than to install it on Ubuntu or Fedora I recommend that to use either CentOS or either Red Hat so try it on Red Hat but right now in this video I'm using CentOS and you can see that it is very stable so these green lines are being there which means that it is now on the verge of full compilations and getting the system ready to start with Elixir So you can make very cool projects into Elixir. So in about a minute or maximum one and a half minute, we will be finishing. So you can say finished in 59 seconds and 2925 tests are there and zero failures. So every test is being done in a very beautiful manner. So some test may be very fast, some may be very, you can say, taking some time, depending on the files, etc., which is being done in that. So the procedure which I'm using in this video is the best procedure in order to make the full CentOS 7 environment ready for Erlang and Elixir programming for all sort of applications development. wait yes so now you can see that uh, it has finished yes so now we can see that uh, it has been finished so let us first of all add this command and we have to export the path to the path variable so that otherwise Alexa will not work so now we have export the path so now let us clear and let us start with this uh, command that is iex so that we can verify that whether elixir is working or not so let's press enter yes so yes you can see that uh, interactive elixir has been there and we have got the prompt so if you want to exit you can press ctrl c twice as we do into erlang programming language so if you have any other command you can work on this command that is elixir space minus minus version so you can see that it is the version is 1.3.0 it's the ultra latest version which has been released in april 2016 itself and it is working very fine so uh, in this centos so in this video i have demonstrated how to install elixir and erlang programming languages on centos 7 so do give this a shot do use these languages for various application development of various areas of computer science thank you for watching this video do share with your friends and do like this video thank you